Hi everyone! I hope everyone's doing super dandy today because for today's video we are going to be organizing my two closet back here and we're actually going to be getting them professionally organized or Professionally organized, my good friend Megan is just an incredible cleaner, organizer, like her house is just immaculate, like everything's labeled, so like the T, like no literally, actually her T is actually labeled. So she's coming over, she is gonna help me professionally organize these two closets that I have behind me, which I've already showed you guys in my recent studio tour and embarrass myself showing you guys because they're a disaster. They're both a disaster. So we're going to be fixing that hopefully today and the next few days. It's going to take a few days to do this project. But first we're going to start off by giving you another tour of my closet. You know, I'm embarrassing myself once again. And then after that, we're going to do some shopping because we need to go get some organizers, some baskets and everything. Organize, sorry, geez, But we're going to go get some stuff so we can organize it. But before that, I'm going to give you guys the tour. Benson, you're going to have to move. I need to get in this closet. There you go. Still happy. So I have two kind of smaller mid-sized closets here. So this is my first one right here. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, um, I, you can see I had the effort here where I tried to organize it down here, but then just didn't really succeed as we go up. So this is how the first one looks. It's, um, it's not the worst, I guess it always can be worse, but it's, it's not very pretty. And for closet two. Ta-da! Yeah, this one's definitely worse. I'm gonna get rid of one of these printers because I had a backup one for my business. Now I don't need a backup one, I just want one for me personally. So one of them is gonna go Bye bye And then I also have all my craft supplies in here, like... Look how nicely organized this is. This is all my sewing supplies, or some of my sewing supplies. Hey, this one actually doesn't look too bad. This one's semi-organized. Whoops. But then I also just use my printers as, like, you know, a shelf as well, so... That needs to be fixed. And then as we go up, it gets worse. It, it definitely gets worse, but... I'm not even gonna get into that pile of mess right now. Well, honestly, it's kind of getting hot in here. I'm starting to get like a sweaty stash and you know, my face is getting a little, a little dewy, which is, it's very nice, but it's, it's honestly just sweat again. So we're gonna head out. Let's go to Ikea. Let's meet up with Megan and let's go get some organizers. Hi guys, I'm in Ikea now. I'm here with my friend. Megan here. Hi guys. She's my professional organizer. <laughs> so we're going through all of just the baskets here in Ikea and she's showing me which ones are like the best. So I'll give you guys a little sneak peek if you guys are organizing your guys' craft room or whatever and she's honestly a genius when it comes to this. So I'm so excited. I'm learning a lot but I'm just gonna, you know, shop with Megan now and we'll get a whole bunch of supplies for my closet. Yay! So excited! <laughs> so these are the bins I have right now at home and now since I've gotten them they actually have different colors so I might get a few different colors because I kind of want to match what I have right now and then Megan just showed me these ones right here. These bins which are perfect too because then I can see what's in there so like markers and stuff or even sewing supplies. Anyways we're gonna move on to these organizer bowls that Megan introduced me to. They were very very cheap. They were 25 cents and 50 cents which I honestly was pretty shocked because the last time I bought something for 25 cents it was a candy at 7-eleven so I was pretty stoked to say the least. So I have the white bins like I mentioned so I ended up getting a whole bunch of other colors because I wanted to be very pretty in my closet so I ended up getting them in pretty much every single size imaginable or to the three other sizes they had of them. So I ended up getting all the sizes because they stack perfectly together, which is just a dream come true in the closet organizing world. And lastly, we have the pegboard, which I love and hate because it's low key, just a little bit ugly, but honestly, it is so useful. It is so handy for my laziness. So I recommend if you're lazy like me, get a pegboard. And then of course, because you have to walk through the plan section at the end, Megan and I picked up just like one plant each. Okay, fine. No one believed that. So 
I'll tell you the truth. We went to Home Depot after and we got a few more plants each. And then finally, a final stop was Michael's because I have a lot of beads. I like making jewelry and Michael's is a perfect place to get the little itty bitty tiny organizer for beads and other craft supplies. So we are home now from shopping. We have all of my craft supplies. So that's what we're gonna be doing first is we're gonna take all the small things, like all the beads, all the markers, just everything that's small and just like very disorganized. We just have it all at the table here. We have all our little compartment here so that we can organize them and we're just gonna do that for today just try to get all the little things in before we really dive into all the big things in the closet we're just gonna go at it we're just gonna go at it and see what we can organize so here's a little update of all our beads so far this is what we're doing first Megan said that we should take everything out of its original packaging and put it into its own spot so that's what we're doing because a lot of my stuff is just in its original packaging so we're trying to get everything organized into all these little compartment things that I have here so now that we're moving on to my sewing supplies we can see like how big of a mess it is <laughs> it's it's been like this for a long time because I have all my bias tape all my zippers and this is the part I really need help with because I have no idea how to organize my sewing <laughs> bucket here it's just, especially the string it just gets everywhere yeah. like this is the biggest pain this one and i just never take it out and never try to take anything out of here because it's so bad so what we're starting on is we're taking all the thread we're putting it in here so we can have all my serger thread in here and then um, Megan's gonna help me with the rest here because I really don't know what to do. So Megan just came up with a solution on how to kind of organize all my bias tape and that just big mess of, you know, zippers and stuff. And what she did was she took one of my clips here that I use for sewing and she just wraps it around and clips them like this. So they're all nice and pretty. Hi. So. It's supposed to be 40 degrees here in Vancouver, and I'm pretty sure Vancouver has never experienced anything over 33 degrees. I'm gonna try to do this closet as fast as I can this morning before I die of heat stroke. So the plan is today to not die of heat stroke, but the second plan is to declutter this and get rid of the craft supplies I've been hoarding for like 10 years because for some reason I just love hoarding craft supplies where I get a craft and I use most of it and then I'm like, hey, I gotta keep these extra spools because I might need them one day. That's what I do. Like, I just have a lot of random stuff that I don't need. So, <laughs> we're gonna go through it all today. We're gonna go through all the mess in here <laughs> and we're gonna get rid of some, give some away, donate some, and then we're also going to keep some because I'm not getting rid of my whole closet. Mm, mm, mm. So we're gonna start up here where all my yarn is because I don't need all this yarn. I wanted to give it to someone who's gonna use it. So I got a good start on my closet now. It looks a lot more empty and I have majority of stuff on the floor now, kind of categorized into piles of like craft supplies, stationary stuff. So when Megan comes tomorrow, we can organize them into the bins. Also, it's a really good thing that I'm home alone this weekend because Tim <laughs> would not be able to function in our place right now. Oh shoot, I forgot I have all of these drawers. And they're all a mess. I just gotta show you guys a little sneak peek because I got just a little excited and organized my sewing drawer. Look at this. Isn't this incredible how dividers can make such a big difference in a drawer? Like this will actually stay organized. I will be able to keep it clean because there is a spot for everything. But honestly, it's just really hot. It's like 40 degrees outside. So I'm gonna go take a drive in my car and go buy some stuff off Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Bye. 
So Megan and Finn are here now. We got all the puppies here that are gonna be roaming around while we do the closet clean out and organizing. But Megan's gonna kind of take the reins today and she's just gonna kind of organize the closet how she wishes because <laughs> she's honestly the expert here. And I have been learning so much from her of just how to organize things. And I've even tried it on my own. Yes, my own you did very I well. Yeah. I know, she was very impressed. I showed her that little drawer I did. I was like, I'm so happy yeah. with myself. So she's gonna teach me more today. We're gonna work on all the stuff kind of mm -hmm. laying around here and hopefully by the end of the day we can finish it. Yeah, totally. I'm, I'm hoping we, we can will. finish. We will. I think we can finish today. So we better get started. Yes. <laughs> So the first thing Megan told me was we couldn't have anything in the closet. It had to be completely clean. So we had to, you know, further go through my closet. And we noticed right away I had an absurd amount of used packaging paper. I love keeping used packaging paper just for crafts or just scrap paper or for when I package and sell my clothes. I like to have it there to reuse it. So we had to organize that first. So pretty much we were just folding used paper for an hour. And then we moved on to more exciting things, like we got to organize my 5,000 buttons. Yeah, I know it's not that exciting, so we can also skip this part too. Oh, actually, Megan organized all my Cricut supplies in this nice bin. Like, look how satisfying this is. Watch her organize this because I didn't, I didn't do it. She just told me what to do and then I did it. But she is the brains behind all of this organization. Like, look at her go. Look at that. Look at that. We even have a top organizer. Like. Wow. And then Muscle Megan came in and then she rearranged all the shelves in my closet so they are all spaced out perfectly to fit all the totes. Or is it totes or is it to totes? I don't know. So now we're working on my little side drawer here beside my desk and Megan recommended that everything here should be like easy access stuff that I use more like a daily basis. So like my camera stuff or sewing supplies, jewelry and jewelry. Beads. We organized it so pretty. So, so nice. the little things we're gonna put yeah. in there and then yeah, probably just some like camera equipment just for when you're filming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, all that stuff, hard drives, all the you know behind the scenes stuff. So yeah. that's what we're doing for this drawer. It's like things I use on a daily basis. Okay, so we just finished my bins that were kind of like my junk drawers and pretty much every single bin of mine kind of turned into a junk drawer. <laughs> so Megan finally convinced me that you should never have a junk drawer because Ever. I did not though. I did not know that. Like I've always yeah. had just put it everywhere. Like that's what I've always done. But she's like, I don't have a junk junk. Oh my gosh, junk drawer. And I am actually shocked how <laughs> you yeah. don't have one. Yeah, like I literally, it, it takes some time. You have to get used to the fact that instead of just putting something <laughs> somewhere where you're like, it's out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. Literally, you just have to have that object and be like, where does this go? Or do I need to make a space for it? And then I know exactly where it is from then on. And mm -hmm. I don't have a messy drawer that I have to dig through to find the thing I once put there, right? I know, like that. that's like the most mind blowing thing is that no junk drawers anymore. <laughs> and I'm gonna try my best to do that, but yeah. we got that done. So the mm -hmm. next thing I'm doing is we're working on my other thing that has been piling up is <laughs> all of my papers and all of just the work I've done, all I printed, because every time I make something, I, I keep it. And I <laughs> don't need all of this, so Megan's gonna help me kind of sort through this and get rid of some yeah. of it. Yeah, <laughs> just reduce a little just, and just a little bit go. So you can get to like a quarter. Yeah. My biggest weakness is I cannot let go of things that I have made. And that's a big problem when you're a creative person and you're constantly creating things because then you become a hoarder. So Megan really helped me get rid of the stuff that I knew I probably shouldn't keep, like the wedding invitations that I created for myself and I kept all 55 extras just in case one day that um, I would have to give it to someone, I don't know. She helped me get rid of them and finally recycle them and just keep the things that were actually super important. And then finally, we had to play a quick game of Tetris in my closet and try to put all the boxes or bins or Totes. I don't know what they're called, but we had to put them all back in the closet and try to organize them so they all fit perfectly in the closet, which Megan was really good at. I bet she'd be really good at Tetris. Okay, so we finished, you know, putting all the bins in the closet so it's all organized perfectly. <laughs> Anyways, we have everything in the closets, all the bins, so now we are just making the labels on my Cricut here, and Megan wrote out all of them. I think, how many are there? Like 28 or something? Yeah, we have 28 bins yeah. to label, so we're gonna get busy with this. 
and we have different color vinyls here for the different colored bins. We have this mint color, green, and then of course, white here. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed organizing my closet with me. It was so fun. So thank you so much, Megan. Ah. It honestly looks incredible. Like I did not think it was gonna be this nice in the end. So thank you so much. You're so welcome. I'm so excited. <laughs> but if you guys want Megan to start a YouTube channel for cleaning and organizing because she is a professional and you can definitely <laughs> see by this that she is crazy good. Comment down below and let her know that she should start her YouTube channel. <laughs> but that is it, so I will see you all next time. Bye guys! Bye.